Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and in this tutorial series I will teach you how to use procedural generation grid for generating rooms which have automatically placed walls, props and then show you how you can use these prepared rooms to generate whole detailed facilities with single click. Let's take a closer look on what you will learn. Everything you see here is placed with PGD system you will easily customize rooms, like you see here bathroom with different walls and different props. The more prop models made by your 3D artists, then better, because you will have more possibilities to fill up the space of the rooms with very easy randomization of this system. You can spend more time on setting up rules for placement of the objects to make it look better in your project. PGG system gives a lot of freedom for placing objects in the room. So, let's start the tutorial. In this tutorial we will focus on the most fundamental and the most important thing of the PGG system. And it will be preset files. Some of these preset files are pretty complex. And three of them are the most essential. Like field setup, modificators package and field modificator. The most important one is field setup. Let me show a few examples how you can use these presets. So, there we have field setup, which is responsive for generating a room like this. This field setup has assigned three modificator packs. Each of them can be easily switched off and on for debugging, for watching what it is doing. As you can see, first of these modificator packs is responsive for generating floor, ceiling and walls with windows and some extensions. Taking a look below, you see this modificator pack contains two field modificators. One is generating floor and ceiling. You can switch on and off also individual field modificators to again debug or check what each is doing. And other one is generating walls with some extra stuff. There was gaps in wall corners, so I simply filled it with some extra model. And as you can see, you can also disable enable spawning of any object to check how it works. It's up to you how you manage the modificator packs, but I prefer for making packs like pack for debris props, another pack for some furniture, another pack for small props, etc. Et you can go like this, but you can also make like tons of modificators in one modificator pack. It's up to you. When you have created all these modificator packs, you can use them totally freely in a shared way. Let me show you how it works. Let's create new field modificator by going window, impossible creations, level design and great field designer window. Let's create new field setup. Let's call it example. Let's focus on presets. And first let's assign some field modificators to the root package of this field setup. By hitting plus you will add new field for field modificator and if you want to create new modificator which should belong to this field setup then hit in button and you see it's created inside field setup file. You can rename it. In next tutorials I will show you how you can set up this modificator but now let's focus on the presets. So let's add new field and let's assign some preset which exists already in side project. And you see there is a lot of them, but let's drag and drop them from project browser. So we take field modificator from our field setup and it works without any troubles for sharing it. But let's clear it because we can also add the whole package of this stuff. and it works without any troubles too. Sharing these field modificators and modificator packs not ends only on spawning whole package. You can use field setup variables to replace for example prefab which is spawned by some modificator or replace material like you see in this field setup for toilet using process called injecting. There is injected different floor material and walls material also, 
you can assign whole modificator package and disable selectively modificators you don't want to use. Like here in a toilet I wanted some of the furniture but some of them was too much so I just simply disabled it. There is also one final preset file of this whole system and it's called build plan. Let's take a look on it. It's here. And build plan is designed for creating whole setups of many rooms or areas. And as you can see, it's generating corridor and we can define which field setup should be used for this area. And we can define rooms which should be generated by this build plan. And you see here we have different field setups for each room. And each of these rooms can have different size and cells. Like you can see here, we can make a bedroom much bigger. And it tries to generate correctly rooms we defined to generate. This build plan preset can be used by different generators components to generate different shape results. Right now in a procedural generation grid package, there are three components which are using this preset. It's build plan generator, facility generator and simple dungeon generator. Each of them is using slightly different algorithm to generate placement for defined rooms. But more about that in other tutorial video. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. If you have some questions, feel free to ask in comment section. Subscribe or hit the bell to get notifications about new videos. And see you in the next tutorial for procedural generation grids. Bye bye.